just woke up after 14 hours of sleep. It's my first day off from work. And I don't want to do anything. But I have to do something. So I'll go in the shower so I can feel like I can be productive and start my day. The next day. I'm the kind of person that would just risk breaking everything they're carrying because they don't want to make a second trip. It might look like it's the same day, but it's the next day because my name is Fenaretti and I'm lazy. I'm so lazy. Okay, so far I've been struggling to make videos since I've started working when I had three days off per week. Now this is the last week ever that I'm gonna have three days off because from next week we start compulsory overtime and I'm gonna be working 50 hours per week. The plan of action for today is I need to work on my first draft of my feature length script, which I completed a year ago and haven't touched since. Recently what I've been struggling with is trying to choose which of the projects that I'm working on needs to have my full attention. At the moment that we're speaking, I am working simultaneously at... I have been working on eight separate books. Ooh! Nine separate books, which I'm writing, and I'm always struggling because I don't know which one is ready for me to completely finish. Because I always have the ideas and I brainstorm about them every single day, I make notes, it's always on my mind, but I haven't been sure which one I should focus on because each of them, they have an element that's missing, which is the middle part of the plot. Like, I know everything that's important, but I don't know the filler parts of the story. So recently I remembered that, you know what, the only story that's long and I have completed is my feature length script. And it would be a very good book, I think. The problem is that I have it more visually in my brain instead of narratively. So that might be an issue. Like I will need to maybe like expand on things that in the movie I barely touched. But you know what? I need to start and finish a book. So I think this is the best time to actually focus on something that's actually finished. So my feature length script basically has three warnings for absolutely everything. So it's gonna be a very hard book for me to work on and script to work on. So now the plan of action is to fully translate the entire script in English, type it down, and then once that's done, I need to start writing the book. I need to write the book. I need to write the book, okay? I need to do it. I just need to do it. Just do it, okay? I need to do it. So I'll do it, okay? The geography of my room is different. The bed used to be just here. That's where my desk is. That's where I usually film. I'm not gonna move the camera to show you, okay? Just, this is not a high value production. And there used to be a double bed here, but basically I broke it into half. I got rid of it and I bought a single mattress because you know what? It doesn't fit in my room. There's no point to have a double bed. I'm gonna show you that side of the room later because like I've made my bookshelves look so pretty. So I'm gonna be filming my videos, I think that way from now on. But you're gonna see that when I'm starting to read the book. Okay, so now I've rented for approximately a long time. I don't know, my camera doesn't show. So that's the plan of action. I've just made myself some breakfast. I am gonna have a, a big cup of coffee because why not? And I'm also gonna have a wrap with Biscoff inside of it. And I have a story to tell you about Biscoff, you know? Either you care or not, it's not, it's not after you to decide. So this story goes. Okay, I think this story is getting too long now. Oh, by the way, did you see my t-shirt? I keep wearing t-shirts that have references to them of things that I have very dear to my heart and nobody ever comments on them. Do you know what this t-shirt is from? Can you recognize it? I love it and nobody cares. Can you please pay attention to my t-shirts? It would really mean a lot to me. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna eat now. <laughs> like, if you're my friend, please tell me. Do I speak too much? I need to know. Oh, by the way, like the purchase that has made me the happiest is this bottle. Look how big it is. Oh my God. For somebody as lazy as I am, saving me a trip to go and fill up my water bottle because this is so massive is life changing. We need more lazy people in the world who like invent stuff like that so they can make our lives easier. Okay. Lazy people are valuable. 
Is this my aesthetic or what? What? <laughs> this is like a Julian joke. Did you get it? Probably not. Okay, here's the thing. I've only written three pages so far and I'm already out of it. I don't want to do it anymore. I've been looking at my bed and I want to take a nap and I know I shouldn't. I will not. I swear. I'm not going to take a nap, but I need to fix this. I need to fix this. So I just brought up the big gun. I am kind of addicted to energy drinks. I love them so much. Like they are so important to me and I don't think I would be able to live my life without them at this point. I am immune to coffee. It doesn't do anything to me. I will never feel energized when drinking coffee. So energy drinks are the only ones that help me focus and feel energized. And I wish one day they'll sponsor me because honestly, this is my favorite monster drink. I don't really like Red Bull that much, but I drink it at work because it's the only energy drink they have. And after that, for the whole rest of the shift, I work like this. Well, I, I don't care. Like, I want that. I want that in my life. I want that, like, super energized, hyped for no reason vibe. So that's what I'm going for right now, because I don't know what my goal should be for today, but I think I should write at least 30 pages. And I've written three and I'm already like sleepy about it so i hope this changes soon because i'm disappointing myself like i really am like i don't know how people can stay focused oh my god like everything hurts my brain cells just are giving up on me at this point I did it. I just finished transferring the 29th page of a script from the notebook, which is the 19th page. If you type it down, yeah, I think my script is gonna turn out smaller than I was expecting. But this is just the first draft. I kind of feel very dead inside because the first part of this film is very content heavy. It's very triggering. I feel very sick. I feel like I need to vomit. Like, that's the sensation that I felt always when I was transferring this script. And I feel like it's gonna be a very painful experience having to write the entire script down, then translate it, and then work on it, and then make it a book. Like, this is gonna be so painful. I feel so dirty and disgusted and overwhelmed, and I feel like I'm having a panic attack just by thinking of the contents that I'm writing about and I know like that it sounds weird that I am so like insistent on writing such like a depressing and triggering book but this is a story that I need to tell oh my god my heart yeah I don't feel very well <laughs> I don't feel very well and this is it I'm not gonna do any more for today and I think I might start reading Pride and Prejudice Ugh. I feel so um I feel so sick that I don't know if I have uh, the strength to read such a heavy book because Pride and Prejudice like, is a lot. The classics are hard to read. Maybe I should just reread Twilight again. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so sick to my stomach. I know that the sky gives you the illusion that I've worked for so many hours, but it's actually just 4.35 and yeah, this is just our sky now. I'm trying to calm down because I think I'm having a panic attack.
exacto. 